Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Kikwi Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a Kikwi Learner, and in this video, I will talk about uh, one of the regularly used scenario of uh, running totals or rolling five days sum of uh, expenses or cash for uh, you know maintaining of our financial book. So, if I have to show you what I am really talking about, let me open an Excel file and uh, show it to you. This is like a, a small book of finance or kind of a dummy file that I have created to, to show the scenario here. I have the information by uh, each day. What is our opening cash? What, what was our expenses? Uh, and the running expenses, rolling five days uh, expenses, income, uh, running total income and then closing cash in hand. Now what I really mean by uh, running expenses or rolling five day expenses so running expenses is nothing but you know accumulation of the values which is appearing right after the first value so if you sum both of these values it will actually result into two three double five and it is basically giving you a view that on the second day till the second day of the business you have actually incurred uh, two thousand and three hundred fifty five dollar expenses so similarly at the end of the biz, you know uh, business book you can uh, you can very well see the uh, expenses the total expenses you have incurred while you know doing the business that that you can say is easily achievable by uh, you know doing a sum function but the only beauty is that on a daily basis you can you can basically see how you are uh, moving up or down or in a consistent way uh, while you know doing the expenses so in case if there is really a peak or uh, you know expenses are going very high you can you know easily uh, take a action and uh, you know maintain your a healthy perform uh, a healthy uh, book of finance so 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 we need to basically create a, this scenario in in click view and similarly at this scenario where we are showing the rolling five day exp uh, uh, expenses total what it does it takes the last five day into consideration and then do the sum so for first five values it will not be of much impact because we will be adding these values but right after the fifth value which is this as you can see from the serial number right after this the value the actual uh, rolling five days is coming into existence where it takes the current value and the last four values into consideration and create a sum out of it for producing a true rolling five day expenses okay so this is a scenario we need to create or these are the expression we need to create into click view so let's go into click view and uh, start creating these expression here is our click view and if you see we have a similar table uh, here also but we don't have those columns because that's what we need to create here and here we have a simple table where we need to add the expression we have uh, already added two expression opening cash and uh, sum of opening cash and sum of expenses and let's create uh, uh, the rolling or the running expenses so for running expenses we will need the sum of expense we will copy this and uh, click on add we will paste it and let's say it as a running expense but the only thing and uh, we need to do is click here the full accumulation these in this accumulation tab we have three values no accumulation means no impact but full accumulation means it will create the running total for us so we'll click OK and let me just quickly format and then I'll explain what it is doing uh, I will click on number running expense in teacher and click OK so now it is doing a similar thing like Excel it is producing the it is keep on adding the values present uh, from the cur below to the current row uh, and then doing an incremental sum to produce the running expenses and uh, if you see here that's what we basically did here three one four seven four four two nine and the closing value was ten thousand and three hundred fifteen dollar and that's what we are producing here so as you see the, you know how it is how easy it is in 
doing it in a click view and uh, now let's move on to our next example rolling 5d example which takes the last the current value and the last four values to produce the total and for that uh, I would say that's also very easy here in the click view going to expression I will again copy some of expression create a new expression with the same sum of expression uh, sum of opening cache uh, I will actually don't need sum of opening cache but I need sum of expenses basically small mistake we'll rectify here and we will say give us the rolling five days so for again for this again we'll go here and accumulate section and click on five steps back okay and click OK so if I format it first and then show you what we really produce what are we really producing that will help you click OK it is formatted if you see this the number it is similar to how Excel is producing so if you see from 1 double 2 6 2 3 double 5 until 5 1 5 4 1 double 2 6 2 3 5 5 and 5 1 5 right after that it has 4 0 2 2 which is taking this value and the last four values to produce the rolling five days sum so this one two three four five and that's what we are doing here if you see if i added this one two three four five right so so this is this is how uh, you know we can uh, make use of our accumulation uh, section here the accumulation section which is important uh, sometimes we you know totally ignore this but uh, for maintaining these kind of uh, uh, you know calculation it becomes really handy or or if we are not aware you know we keep thinking about the complex formulas which by which we want to really uh, overcome this situation but as you see how easy it is to produce the running expense by simply clicking on full accumulation and the rolling five days uh, total by doing clicking on accumulate and doing a total or doing a going a five step back for rolling five days total so these applications are not only um, uh, you know useful in in the finance function but it can it is useful uh, in the uh, stock market so if, if you have ever done the trading or have an experience of technical trading you must have seen the 30 day moving average or 60 day moving average average they are nothing but the average of uh, last 30 days stock prices and last 60 days is stock prices so if you want to create a, you know that kind of a the dashboard which shows the stock price with the ha and also the 30 day moving average or 60 day moving average for doing the stock analysis you can very well do it here and you know make some good profit so that's that's also one of its application in stock market and if i talk about uh, statistics so if you have ever used the Pareto chart uh, which basically uh, uses the cumulative percentages for producing the Pareto chart then you know in that case also our cumulative uh, uh, or accumulate section come into existence for really producing that chart so I will leave these things to you the stock market and the Pareto chart but uh, this I have shown you how you can you know uh, very easily create a running expenses and the rolling five day expenses and in the next video I will again come back with the similar uh, running uh, expenses exp example but I will uh, introduce some more complex scenarios like this five days like five days running total we have done but what if we don't want to consider the the current row into uh, this data and do the rolling five days from a true previous five days values what i mean by true previous five days it means the value starting from 725 and going till one two three four five so it is basically 
producing the sum of these five values and giving it here in front of 94 if that is what your requirement is or uh, you know your business requirement is then how you can achieve it all of those things uh, I will uh, uh, cover in in the coming video and uh, also show you some other complex scenarios so that uh, whenever any situation encounter or any similar situation encounter you know you can easily overcome that by using these uh, techniques so I hope uh, you will find this video useful and uh, I hope I'm able to give you some more new additional learning today and uh, I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic till then bye bye